Welcome back, you guys, to a wild but pretty typical night in our house. Actually, the kids end up helping a little bit more, but I knew I was going to be filming tonight, so we got them showered and in bed. But it is a wreck, and I want to get some good deep cleaning done. And on top of that, I got a new vacuum cleaner, that one over there. It's a shark and I love it. I've only used it in the boys' room, but you guys should see how much it's picked up. Look at it, just from the boys' room. Isn't that disgusting? And then I also got a new steam mop over there that I'm gonna be using too. But I'm gonna move the couch and the rug and I'm going to vacuum and mop. And then I'm also going to clean the bookshelf and the whole kitchen. So if you're needing some cleaning motivation, this should do it for you. actually Ava's birthday her ninth birthday which is so hard to believe but I ordered these balloons on Amazon so I'm just gonna blow them up and put them on these windows right here definitely tell you what not to buy and that is these blends from Amazon both of the Y's had holes in them and it just took me like 20 minutes to blow them up so just the two of us and we could stay up all night kissing under street lights doing what we want to do maybe she won't even notice it's the thought that counts right I want so badly to give these shelves in my living room a refresh and I feel like spring is going to come and go and we're all still going to be in our homes and I do have a few pops of spring on the shelves but I'm thinking that I'm going to decorate a little bit for summertime because I've never really done that before and I think it would just be something nice and different and hopefully by then we can be going out and about, back in stores and stuff, you never know. But I did get these shelves from Wayfair. I know they don't sell this exact shelving unit anymore because I've had so many of you ask and I've looked, but if you just search large shelves on Wayfair, you'll find a bunch of really cool stuff. Y'all know I love some Wayfair. And I have gotten messages too on Instagram asking how I like the quality of all the stuff I've bought on Wayfair because we've bought all our beds there, all, almost all of our rugs there, and the shelf and a bunch of other stuff. And I will say we have not been disappointed with anything, but at the same time, you definitely want to do your research and make sure that you don't get anything that doesn't have at least four or five stars, but I have not been disappointed at all.
know that I don't clean these shelves nearly as much as I should, but I could not believe how much dust was coming up. If Mark had still been awake, I would have pulled out the shelving unit from the wall, but we have it secured to the wall and I didn't want to mess with all that and make a ton of noise since I had five people sleeping in the house, but I do want to do that soon. It was just disgusting. <laughs> I know I've shared a million times how much upkeep this couch is and how much I wish that we could make it work in our family. It just does not work. But in the meantime, when we're not really going to stores or anything, I can't be shopping for a new couch, so we're just making do. But if you are new to my channel, you might not know this, but it sheds feathers so terribly. And I know so many of y'all have suggested to just fill it with something other than feathers, but I feel like to do that would just cost enough money to where it wouldn't be worth it. We should just put that money into a new couch. So that's what we're going to do. It's just going to take a little bit of time and it's been put on the back burner. But when you see me vacuuming the couch in a little bit and you're wondering like, what am I picking off? If, like I said, if you're new to my channel, it's feathers and almost no vacuum cleaner works to fully get them. So it's just a lot of fun. So by now I've mentioned it about a hundred times, but yes, I did get a new vacuum cleaner. It came highly recommended and I had just been really wanting one for like good, honestly, couch cleaning, stair cleaning, carpet, all that type of stuff. It wasn't super cheap, but it also wasn't super expensive either. I ended up just going straight through the shark site to buy it and I am loving it so far. I am honestly just so excited to have it. I know that sounds crazy, but it just really excites me and it cleaned up so much stuff. All I really ended up cleaning was the boys' carpet upstairs, this rug in our living room, and the rug underneath our kitchen table, and then the runner right in front of our kitchen sink and I had to empty the canister I think four times so it made me feel disgusting but also really happy to get all of that stuff out of our home and then you're going to see me here in a second use a steam mop for the very first time actually and it works so well I do love it it's like a different kind of clean on your floors there's just something about it that makes it feel more sanitized I will link it for y'all I 
ultimately just ended up going on Amazon and finding the cheapest steam mop with the best reviews. And I thought it worked really, really well. It was super simple to put together and I really love it. I got so nervous when I was putting the rug back in place after I swept and mopped because I know last time I did it, a feather got stuck underneath and I didn't know at the time, but I saw it once I was editing it and it bothered me, but it was so funny how many of y'all it bothered too. And I totally get that. So I was really nervous afterwards. I did try to watch back the footage before I moved the couch on top of it and I didn't see anything, but I was still nervous when I was editing it. You can kind of see here there's really no way to go about it besides just picking the feathers and gathering them up and getting rid of them or somebody suggested like putting them all together and making a pillow out of it. Although I will say after this is all said and done, I kind of don't want anything that has feathers in my home. I feel traumatized after this. I'm just kidding. I know I'm being a little bit dramatic, but the reason why I'm thinking that we can't just use a different filler for the whole couch is because there are areas on the couch that don't have zippers and they still shed feathers. So I feel like there's really no solution to it. I will say though, despite all of that, a couple videos back when I said I was willing to give this couch to one of y'all once we find a new one, I can't tell you how many messages and comments I got of people saying they would want it. So listen, when we find something, this couch is going to one of y'all. I know so many of y'all also said uh, there's no way I want that couch. So I totally understand both sides of it, but it's coming to one of y'all whether you want it or not. The 
when I first set out to clean, I thought it would take about two hours and I would be done. I had no idea that I would be pretty much staying up all night. And I think when I started cleaning right here in the kitchen is when I realized that I'm probably not going to be getting any sleep tonight. As weird as it sounds, it's kind of fun to do this from time to time and just clean through the night because you know you're not going to be interrupted at all and you know what you're doing is not going to be immediately undone. I will say it's not always great to forfeit the sleep because, you know, we're moms and we need sleep and I totally get that. But as I just kept cleaning and cleaning, I really didn't want to stop. And I knew the next morning would be Ava's birthday and it would be exciting and fun for her. And I didn't want to have to think about cleaning or filming or doing anything other than just spending time with her. So it definitely made all of this worth it. Plus the fact that you can wake up to a clean kitchen and living room, that's totally worth it too. I know I told y'all how I've been making a ton of banana bread during this time. I think I might have mentioned it in the last video too, and I had a few of you ask for the recipe. So banana bread was one of my favorite things growing up. My mom, I feel like, will forever be the best banana bread maker. So I pretty much just use her recipe, and I'm sure she got it. I think she got it from my grandmother. So I will type it up for y'all in the description box and y'all can kind of follow along with it. I have been adding chocolate chips in mine because Ava loves that and that's what she wanted for her birthday breakfast, but it is delicious and it's really hard to go wrong in making banana bread. So I will leave the recipe for y'all just right down below. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some queen bee too. This is going boom. So because Ava is missing out on her birthday party that we were going to have with her and her best friend, I wanted to just do something to make her morning a little bit more special. And I know I've shared this with y'all before, but my kids, just the smallest things with them make them feel so excited and loved. And so I just wanted to put out this tablecloth and this little runner. I found it in my craft cabinet upstairs and I just put it out and then put her plates and her chocolate chip banana bread out on the table and her presents so she could see it when she woke up the next morning. I have also had many of you ask me how well this jute rug holds up underneath the table and honestly I think it couldn't be better. I found it on Amazon a few years ago and it really wasn't that expensive considering how large it is 
and so I just went ahead and ordered it at the time it only had a few reviews and so I was kind of nervous to order it but I took a chance and I'm so glad that I did it hides dirt I mean there is play-doh there's paint there's all kinds of stuff I do clean it but it just hides stuff really well and it's the perfect rug to have with children I know that that rug is linked in my Amazon store and my Amazon store is in my description box I do want to do some updating in my store though because I feel like I'm getting several comments saying I looked in your store and I couldn't find it so if there's any specific product that you're looking for a link for I would love it if you would just leave it in the comments below because I can get a link for y'all or send you in the right direction just so y'all can help find the items that you're looking for a little bit easier also I wanted to say I'm gonna do something a little bit different on this video and y'all can let me know if you care about this or if this is even worth my time but I do get asked all the time the titles of the songs that I use in my videos and I want to share them with y'all sometimes I just can't always get back to every single comment and sometimes I'll see a comment come through on my phone but I'm not around my computer so I don't know the exact title of the song so I get all of my music from epidemicsound.com. I know I always have that linked in my description box, but I'm going to start time stamping all of the songs and leaving them in my description box as well. So there's typically about six to seven songs per video, maybe a little bit more or less. So I'm just going to do that for y'all, for anybody who wants to see them. And I know some of y'all scroll my comments too, which is really nice because sometimes y'all go and answer questions for me. And that is so helpful to me because I know some of y'all already know the titles of songs and the most frequently asked question I get is, do we have two laundry rooms? And I love that so many of y'all answer those questions for me in the comment section. So I'm just going to do that for a few videos and see if it's helpful to anybody. You come with me, time to let it go and be free. Won't you come and breathe the open skies? Come now, come listen to the melody. Slow it down, put yourself at ease. Time to live it live. Get away from the do and do. I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys so much and I appreciate y'all all the time but I feel like it's been so much more apparent to me how incredible y'all are during this time when we're all having to stay home because I feel like the internet is one of the only things that we have 
And I love that we know that we can all have each other. And I love that y'all have leaned on each other in the comment section and y'all have reached out to me. And I just wanted to say, if you guys ever have something that you want to talk about, or if you have a prayer request, please always share that with me because I am always here for you. I will pray for you. I'm willing to try to help you through whatever I can. I just want y'all to always know that it's not one of those things where I'm unreachable. And I know I've felt that before in my Instagram inbox, like I'll respond to somebody and they'll say, Oh my goodness, I can't believe you responded. I hope y'all never feel like that because I'm always here and I always want to talk to y'all. And I know that I might not be the snappiest responder on Instagram because sometimes I get a little bit behind, but I just love you guys so much. And I promise you, we are all in this together. If you guys watch our family vlogging channel, which is linked in the description box too, apparently just everything is going to be in the description box today, but I had shared how we ordered Ava a birthday present and because Amazon's a little bit behind right now, it didn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in in a couple days. And so I did get her a couple small things from Amazon that did come in. So I wanted to wrap those up and put them out for her. It was just a little notebook and some pens and that's exactly what she loves right now. She's very into doing arts and crafts. So I wanted to get those wrapped up and on the table for her. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the birthday love y'all gave to Ava. She felt the love so much. I have not even finished reading her all the comments on my Instagram post. You guys are just so sweet. And even though she didn't have her typical birthday, she had the best day ever. And she went to bed saying that. So I'm just so thankful that y'all spent time out of your day to wish her a happy birthday. And she definitely felt all the love. We'll be running with the lions, lions. Oh, 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 oh. We'll be running with the lions. 